Hey everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 34th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, today we're not going to do any real programming. Um, I wanted to answer some questions I've been getting from people about uh, Qt Creator. Uh, what is it? Where do you get it? Okay, well, Qt Creator is an IDE developed by uh, the Qt developers that complements the Qt libraries. It's the same IDE we've been using for all these tutorials. It comes stocked with just tons and tons and tons of examples. Like, let me actually just open one up here. And when you open one up, it instantly flips to the reference material, which is something I love. So you can actually read the full help file about this before you actually even look at the code. And you can flip back and forth between the code and the help file at will. Uh, where do you get this? Well, you go to uh, cute.nokia.com slash downloads. And you choose your LBGPL or the commercial version. Um, I'm not going to really get into the differences between these two licenses, but uh, you should really go out and read the fine print, see which one's right for you. I use the LGPL version, and as you can see, you can get it for you know Windows, all flavors of Linux, Mac. I mean, just about every relevant operating system out there. And you can download the libraries separately. Now the SDK is the libraries and Qt Creator all in one, but you can download them individually if you need to. And uh, just kind of scroll down and then you see all these different flavors of Qt Creator. Now if you don't like Qt Creator, you're not stuck with it. You can actually use Visual Studio add-ins. And there are other bindings out there, like there's Qt for Eclipse integration. So if you're an Eclipse fan, you can use that. So you're not stuck with any one technology. And uh, because this is a cross-platform library, you can you can do this on any operating system you want. So just to recap, I mean it's cute.nokia.com forward slash downloads. Um, I personally prefer Qt Creator. I use it in both Windows and Linux. Um, in case you're wondering, I use KDE Linux, which is uh, actually all of KDE is built with the Qt libraries. So let's go to K K Ubuntu. This is the operating system I use for my Linux environment. I dual boot Windows and Linux. Uh, Kubuntu.com. Maybe I'm mispronouncing that. I know it's Ubuntu, so it's K Ubuntu for the KDE desktop. And uh, it's actually very easy to set up. I was very surprised. Um, I was studying for my Linux Plus exam, and I had no idea really what I was doing. But everybody said, try uh, try Ubuntu. And I tried it, and I liked it. But I like the KDE desktop better. So uh, if you're really interested, uh, try kubuntu.org and uh, just kind of get involved with that operating system. It's got a lot of features. Um, if you're coming from Windows, it might be a little difficult at first if you've never used another operating system before. But, I mean, as you can see from some of these screenshots, it's a very pretty operating system. It's fully customizable. I mean, I'm very impressed with it. So, anyways, I'm babbling on. Uh, this is Brian. Thank you for watching.